let's talk about students logging into Clever today. I first want to address if students are in a computer lab, and this is probably mainly focused on elementary students, but really any students that need to access like typing agent, um, this can be fairly easy. If a student can navigate to information place, then like the elementary schools are already set in there. And let me explain. Um, if you go to on the district website to the student links and scroll down to information place. And I was working with second graders this week, so we'll just click on second graders. Um, there are some links because it's very specific for a school. Uh, there's one for Baker, Stevie, and Door. Student would correct, click on the correct school. And then, um, like I'm already logged in, they would be prompted to log into their Wayland Google account. And that should be information that you were given as a teacher. Um, it is the full account email and password. But once a student is logged in on that particular computer into Clever, uh, the next time it should be much easier. Um, if there is an opportunity to save that password, go ahead if that seems to be an issue. So basically that is how a student is on the computer. On the iPad, there will be the Clever app, and I do believe Tech has put that on the student iPads. If not, just contact Help Desk and they can put that on the student iPads. And basically the student will log in again using their Wayland Google account. Um, yes, it's long and big, especially for some of the younger kids, but they put it in once and it's on their iPad and then it allows them access into the different uh, applications. Now one note for teachers, um, there seems to be sometimes a little bit of confusion on how my kids log in using Clever, not Clever. Um, I believe Teresa shared this with you and I will share it in my email accompanying my take two for tech. It will show you like Moby Max, students log into Clever, how are students added, and then also how does a teacher access. Now if I say through Clever, Okay, that's where you go. If it doesn't say, like IXL doesn't say anything about teacher access, it will be the way that you accessed it last year with you signing into like IXL. Um, if you have some questions, feel free to contact me. I know we're still getting used to this, but um, appreciate your patience. Have a good day.